The Bible works for me. I don't think Christians need to go outside God's word for solving their problems. Well, what did Bible-believing Christians do anyway before these so-called experts on life's problems like Sigmund Freud or Carl Rogers came along? I think they probably did quite nicely with just the Word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. People have issues today that are beyond the scope of the Bible. I thank God for the insights of modern psychology. I think that pastors who attempt to counsel without professional training are doing a disservice to their church members. Well, it's a simple formula. Our pastor sees to our spiritual needs, a doctor our physical needs, and a psychologist our mental needs. There are times when folks at a very deep problem and might be deeply seated, and I think you need professional help for that. My church doesn't do counseling, so it's not really an option to us. We do have a list of recommended professionals that we can use if we need to. I'm T.A. McMahon, Executive Director of the Berean Call. And I'll be your host for the next hour as we consider the very important subject of psychology and the church. It's an extremely vital topic because in the history of contemporary Christendom, no secular enterprise has had such a profound influence on Christianity as has psychological counseling. In the last 50 years, multitudes of pastors have added clinical counseling degrees to their theological credentials. Psychological theories have been preached so often and from so many pulpits that they're accepted without question by increasing numbers of Christians as biblical doctrines. As a result, the Christian church in the United States has become a major referral service for clinical psychologists and psychiatrists. 